In this video, I'll show you how to load component reels into the Charm High Pick and Place machine. The component reels sit on this axle here, making contact with those three wheels. But before you uh, load it in there, it's a good idea to find the little piece of tape. This is called the feeder tape, and that's what aids you in pulling everything through. Um, so just get the feeder tape free or just find it and then you can put it in. So the one each side of the reel they should sit on either sides of these little blue Spacers. Just make sure all the reels are lined up properly. And make sure that the feeder tape, um, whenever it's pulling towards the machine, is coming from the top of the reel. If it's coming from the bottom of the reel, then you'll have to flip it over. So once you have this in your hand, you actually want to put it over the first blue spacer wheel, and then put it under everything else all the metal bars, the belt, and then this part's a little bit tricky but you have to push down on this springy piece of metal and get the feeder tape to slide in underneath just like that. Now you might want to use the tweezers that came with it to very carefully grab the end of the feeder tape and actually pull it up like that and then once you have it in your hand you can just pull on it now watch because this is just the tape the actual components will start unwinding and you want to catch those and make sure that they follow the same path Okay, so now we need the components to go through that spring, and you want to be careful not to let the feeder tape come off. See where the yellow is? That's where it's stuck onto the component reel. So I'm pushing down on the spring still, and also pulling and pushing. And the components take a different path than the tape. You can see the tape comes up and the components actually curve down. They go underneath the tab in that steel plate. Um, so just carefully uh, pull the tape and push the components. Whoops. You don't want him going on. Oh, actually, this tape is a little odd. Um, right here you can see there's actually a little bit of tape on the component reel. We want that to come with this tape, all the tape, because that way it'll peel off and reveal the components underneath. If this doesn't peel off, then there'll be tape over top of the components and it can't remove them. So I think I'm going to grab my tweezers. You might not have to do this for all the components. I didn't have to do that for the resistors over there. I'm going to push down on that spring just to make some room. Okay. So now all the tape is going up. Okay, so now I'm going to grab below the feeder, this entry feeder tape, and that should guide down the 
component reel should guide down below into that slot. And now advance the reel until you start to see the components. Because you see right now we just have a bunch of blank reel. And, uh, whoops, I got my tape underneath that bar. And you might even find it helpful to pull the tape out for this part. So you can pull at it like that. Alright, so there's our LEDs coming in. So next we have to kind of wind the tape around like these ones do. So um, go ahead and tie a knot at the end of your, I'm gonna unstick this. I actually might be able to use this for other, if I bought something that, if I bought some cut tape from DigiKey that didn't come on a reel, I might be able to reuse this piece of tape. Um, and just stick it right onto the reel, or onto the, yeah. Okay, so now we're going to tie a knot in this plastic, okay? And we're going to hook it into this, this blue wheel where that slot is. We'll see if that works. That might not be thick enough. Probably not. Rest of this slack after the knot I'll just cut off. And then I'll start. Oh, you know what? I'm going to back up because all this has to go underneath. So this one, this is something that will make you double think about adding more components to your circuit board because you have to do this for each component. All right, all the slack is taken up. And this whole thing is driven by a motor and periodically, um, as it's picking and placing, it will activate the motor for a just a moment to pull to wind up all the slack that's generated. This isn't actually used to feed the tape. Um, that's what all those holes are for. And it, you, it does that with the plunger. There's a little steel plunger that comes down and the head grabs onto it and pulls it forward one position. But. Well, that's how you load a reel onto the Charm High Pick and Place machine.